Now, after the recent update, they released a character balance patch, and we will be going through every single character that got touched in this patch. Timestamps will be down below for specific character changes. Make sure y'all leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and let's get straight up into it. Now, first, you already know we have to start off this video right, and we have to talk about the crouching medium punch. There have been a lot of conspiracy theories saying that, you know, this got buffed, this didn't. But I came to tell y'all that this actually did get buffed. So on the recovery frames, if y'all do see the blue frames over wherever underneath me, it used to be 14. You're only able to get 14 usually when you actually hit somebody. But that's how fast the button was. You were just able to throw it out. But now if you see how slow it is now, I'm going to have the bot throw it out. Oh, wrong button. And you're actually able to whip punish it so much faster because there have been three extra frames added on. The hitbox of the feet, I think around 6 to 24 frames is actually extended. So now you're actually able to clip their feet just in case. Which is which is which is devious. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm trying not to get hit, but you are able to actually whip punish that from OD deep. And the arm hitbox have also been increased, including like you know the three frame of delay that's added on if you actually miss the move or miss the move. So let me block it. You see if I block it, it's, it's 14. Now it was 14 no matter what. But now you know if, if it misses, I, I could just do whatever I want. Like it's 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 pretty much clip. Like the range you can no longer just spam this anymore. I'm doing candy combos right now. I don't know why I actually have that flow charter, but yeah, the crouching medium punch is basically gone. Okay, now what's very crazy about this one is I was actually doing this like literally a day prior or hours prior before they actually nerfed this. So this aerial flash snuckle right here, no changes have been added to the normal one for like the charge, but you should actually know whether or not somebody's actually planning on it if they charge it but the regular aerial flash knuckles have od delay now so i'm gonna have the bot you know i'm gonna try to record the bot doing it okay let me back up and that's all we gonna have if he jumps right i think it's extra seven frames of delay plus that give me more time to do whatever i want i could literally do whatever i want i gotta walk up to him exhibit a uh-huh and then i could just go inside a combo but yeah it has seven frames added onto it and they actually expanded the hitbox by the like from the feet at like frame 16 but i don't really matter all that matter is that the delay is added on to his jump so now he cannot just eat and then get up out of it so for the last thing that was touched for luke is his level one apparently his level one hurt bucks have been increased so now you're actually able to hit him with a lot more things because you know the hitbox has been increased they already said that this patch is mainly focused on jamie and ryu so i'm gonna do jamie before we actually get to ryu uh one of the buffs that i'll actually like to talk about is that if we was to right have let's say one drink if we was to pop level two right if y'all do remember after you pop level two you basically lost all your drinks during that you know this whole sequence that's going on right now so while all of this is going on maybe i could speed up speed this up because uh i don't know why it's taking so long Maybe a little, a little bit more. Apparently, you return back to the state of drinks that you had. So now, if I have these amount of drinks, I go right back to two, which is crazy. Apparently, his level one, which is quarter circle, quarter circle forward, two quarter circle forwards into the kick, that level one right there. The follow up damage and the raw hit damage have been upped by a hundred. So, which is crazy. No matter how many drinks you got, it automatically do like two drinks uh damage output, no matter what. The pushback of it no longer apply when this move is in the corner because sometimes you know you, you you hit them and then you get pushed back to like narnia which is which is crazy and then now it will knock down an opponent five frames or longer which means that you have media opportunities now so usually with like plus, plus seven how many frames but yeah so now you have five more frames to actually work with knocks them down a lot longer so now you're able to media with a lot of buttons you know like that's just just a bit like it's just crazy so they fixed the uh this command grab right here so apparently if you od it apparently it was like a shorter time than like the normal version of it which is crazy if you really think about it i don't know why that was even like a a, a thing as a whole and then they just basically fixed the overdrop so that way you're able to confirm more hits and oh i gotta i gotta drink i gotta drink but you're able to confirm more hits and be more comfortable with using this command grab it gives you more time to follow up instead of just being a little bit shorter frames or active frames when somebody actually do get hit by it and yes this is a command grab so another book that jamie basically got is now with his forward throw you're able to do a lot of more follow-ups right you have more frames to actually meet somebody apparently able to meet somebody with your medium kick another change that i actually like about jamie is that if i was to forward throw you right which is going to be a little bit busted you know jamie reaching his full potential is not really the problem it's more so what he could possibly do now to like mix up it's it's, it's very bad so if it was to hit a fourth throw right and you was to hold down the throw button 
he would get an extra drink if y'all notice after he hit four four drinks y'all should already know where this is going like it's it's automatic it's automatic ape time like it's actually ape time and i want to see if i get this medium now with this medium kick yeah it's, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy to really think about it and i'm not even sure if it's yeah it is cancelable so yeah it's just crazy it's gonna be crazy seeing what jb is able to do now now when it comes to ryu changes which is actually crazy i got these old pulled up because i'm not gonna memorize any one of these things except one i want to explain to y'all which one but for the first hit of the overdrive sure you can which is this now it it don't knock back no more it blows back pause so basically it just, it just pushed them it just it just pushed them all the way back completely like look if the first hit actually hit yeah y'all should already know sometimes you was able to do this and then you know you actually would drop a combo like the level three which after which is very crazy but yes they actually fixed that now for the solar plexus strike which is this right here they made it to where if somebody is moving away from you right let's record him moving away somebody's moving away from you it actually hits them it makes them block very sooner see right there it makes them block very sooner so they cannot move away from this move as easy as you know they used to be able to because you of course see like i'm throwing a move from narnia and somehow i'm still blocking even if the move is not fully out so they actually changed that if somebody's inputting a direction away from you they actually have to block earlier which is crazy in my opinion now for this next change which i'm actually going to remember even though i don't really play street fight as much anymore is this light hashogeki i think i pronounced that right but it used to be negative four right now now which is negative three it's safe completely which means you cannot jab out of it the knockback on block have been decreased but the knockback on uh like burnout so if they on burnout Oh, I have it on fix on refill. So let me let me just do that. Yo, why is it is it is it not on standard or is this is this? So I mean, let me change this back though. Let me change this back just in case I forget. So if I have them on burnout, the knockback it actually increased. But if they're not on burnout, which is very crazy, it, it's GG's. It's it, it, you're ungrabbed. This this is it's over. They changed this move, made it eight times better. All you Ryu you and Jamie players are eating this patch. Okay, now for the medium version for this is actually crazy. So the attack hitbox have been forward and the projectile clash uh, hitbox have been forward. So now the medium version of this move is is a little bit old D when it comes to controlling range. Like it's a little bit old D, especially on attack. And then you're able to power clash more because you know they they fix the projectile range and actually move them more forward. So it's, it's ggs now for the heavy version not only did it get the same uh buffs that the medium version got to with attack and a power clash just actually like you know move forward the hitbox let them is actually move forward for this heavy version i should already see the distance is, is this is old d this distance is actually old d bro there's just no possible way that they thought that this was okay your plus two yep wait not even the second hit if it's on burnout it will leave you yo that is busted that is busted so you plus two but if they on burnout you'll be plus six so you have enough frames to actually do whatever you want on burnout so that's actually crazy with this heavy version and now for the old version it got the same buff when it comes to the attack and the power clash actually you know being forward or the hitbox actually being forward the knockback on hit and block no matter what has been decreased so now I am in people's face when I actually do this move. And then we're gonna do well, we're gonna do a hit. Let's do a hit. Let's do a hit. Let's do a hit. I'm, I'm gonna have it at hit. Oh yeah, it's GG's. This is this is old D. Why do they give them this buff? Now for the what is it? It's a Degen Charge Heshogeki. I think I pronounced that right. They have the same buff to where the attack and the power clash is moving forward. The knockback on block has been decreased which is which is insane so let me i think i charged up let me charge up and let me do it yeah it's been it's been it's been decreased which is crazy right also which is i honestly think it's a favorite thing of mine you know just adding a little bit more damage uh when you actually charge up the old version of this now do a thousand instead of 400 so that's more damage and i mess with more damage for the hadouken the hadouken got changed the size of the hitbox have been reduced around the arms when you're actually doing the hadouken so that's a plus for that level one got the same change to where the hitbox around his arms has been reduced now for candy standing light punch actually got touched the size of his arms hitbox have been increased from i think frame two to six and have been decreased for frame seven to eight 
so just look on the frame thing and y'all should actually see but on, on the bottom on the bottom wherever the bottom is you will see it now for his throw loops his throw loops have actually changed i mean he probably still got it and the frames actually now for his throw loops there is now distance in between the players when you actually do his forward throw which is crazy in my opinion but you know maybe i got a timer right I, ju I just had like the first time which is crazy but dash oh i'm doing it wrong maybe i gotta walk up and grab yeah i gotta walk up and grab but the timing of it there's, there's a little bit more space later for the timing of it there's a little bit more space in between the players when you actually hit this grab now and then for the last buff is this od tatsu so this tatsu in the air was usually very difficult to jump over apparently they tweaked out a little bit and also it added seven more frames of landing like lag so if i'm going to have this bot actually do this right here when he do it and it miss now i'm able to punish it eight times better i know i don't have the combo because i'm not a kin player but y'all should see the gist of it it's actually more punishable now okay now for the changes of this i actually have to read the notes because it's a little bit old so the overdrop double lariat which is this right here which is crazy i'm gonna have to read this one by one so stay with me adjust it so the second hit hits the opponent not in the air one frame earlier sometimes the opponent will actually get hit you know a little bit too quicker than usual you know and then mess up like the conversion or like just the, the hit opportunity as a whole uh adjusting to the second hit knocks down the opponent for an additional one frame if it hits when they are not in the air so like they used to be have like an extra frame i don't know what the extra frame was used for but you know i'm not a geek player but the extra frame it seemed like to be very viable and devious okay they also adjusted it to where now you're able to level three off of this which is very random it's probably mad scaled but it is very it's very random it's, it's very it's very random oh my god that's ca though they also fixed to where like the first attack right here usually sometimes the first attack will hit and then i would be placed like across the entire map but now they've made it to where like it's reduced it's just it's just very reduced and the distance that is initially traveled with this move have now been also increased now as for his level one his level one have been tweaked apparently you are able to actually grab people a little bit more down so that we have a chance to actually level one them the angle have been leveled a little bit more downward well he's not jumping so i can't even do it but y'all get the gist of that also for his level two they basically said to where that due to the changes of this lariat it might be a little bit difficult to put these two in a combo for his level two they actually adjusted the hitbox angle while the screen is dark a little bit more upward so the push box is a little bit more upward which is very cool for Geef. Geef got some muffs oh y'all big body wrestling meat lovers we here so for chun Li, she basically got two changes the hurt box around her standing light punch from two to eight frames her arms and her legs more with punishable now and then when it comes to her legs her vegeto legs which is right here I i'm trying to do it i think it's aerial that but people tk it now for throws and stuff and all this other bs it has been scaled for like 20 percent so now it is very scaled not very scaled but it's scaled down 20 percent so hey you cannot get as much damage as you really want off of it now because you know it has been scaled now apparently the knockback of this has been reduced to where now i'm actually in their face on my can jab i uh, can grab i wonder if i'm able to bait out a throw so we're gonna have you know this a little bit of a train etc right now we're gonna have them block and two of them baiting out the throw to see if you actually are able to bait out a throw now off of this. Hey, calm down. I'm able to jump. I am able to jump, but cannot. Nah, it's too quick. So yeah, it's, it's basically GG's if I if I jump. Like, it's it's just it's just too OD. And the size of the herb box after the active frame has been expanded, so now you're able to actually whiff punish this. Okay, now for Dalsum, he got two changes. Apparently, some inputs when it comes to the yoga teleport would make him just unnormally just teleport somewhere else or appear somewhere else which is very crazy his reappearance like position would be very like wonky it's just weird so they actually fix it and then also for his yoga flame right which if i do this right hold on hold on i'm in playing tekken let me rock so they actually fixed this to where if you was to do it which is half quarter circle back which is that right there uh sometimes it would actually hit as the normal move but now they fix it to where every move do more damage especially on the heavy version this is only on the heavy version actually so this heavy version is actually more viable because now it do more damage which is great for Dalsum players um i don't play blanca so i'm gonna try to explain this as best as possible they fixed an issue to where his level two if you are playing modern his level two you will usually get electric thunder instead of getting the vertical ball which is this right here so when you actually charge it down now you actually get vertical ball when you do down whatever it is and then sp button so they fix that 
and then this level three they also fixed it to where you're not only getting map modest in certain situations because apparently certain situations they were actually able to just map you completely or the hitbox will actually extend way more the reach of his uh level three will extend way more than usual in certain situations so now they actually fix that so when it comes to the manon changes which is very crazy i'm gonna try to do this right so i think it's in it's on hoss i think that's how to pronounce it is when you do back medium kick like that if you're able to do it at a certain angle you're able to get plus four frames i don't know how to do it but we're gonna try to we're gonna try to attempt it uh i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it i'm gonna try to hit the the tip of the hitbox there you go so now you are plus four and when you actually do this which is crazy you're able to come in grab go to the overhead you have so many other options i'm dp'ing this every single time i don't care you're going to learn how to block i, I don't i don't i literally, literally don't care i'm dp'ing everything every you want to learn how to block you're going to use the move to figure it out i will be burnt out by the third time you try this i don't care and even when i don't have it i will level one level two level three level five level six whatever i gotta do is ggs but yeah for her other change which is her level two i i, I, I don't i don't know her level two actually no oh, that's a level one it's probably the level two so the level two is very weird right so they made it to where the first and second hit actually is easier to confirm with um apparently if the third hit actually missed it would be very difficult for opponents to basically counter hit so they do know that there's some issues to where sometimes you know i don't or somebody else i play manon have drop combos because the third hit won't actually hit or the first two hit will actually like just don't hit but now they actually change this to where it's able to be easily connected into a combo now which is very crazy i mess with it i love it first things first i want to talk about is the od amnesia so i'm going to read a lot of notes because there's like six bullet points on it but i'm going to tell you the initial notes they have basically scaled this down a lot 15 to 65 percent i'm pretty sure or 60 percent the initial skill is now 50 percent performing a level three on knockback opponents will now cause a projectile generated from catching an opponent attack with this move to detonate quicker after successfully catching an opponent attack move with this move jp special um arts gauge will in not increase usually it increase which is crazy but now it's not increased either the generated projectile is gone until the current combo ends which is crazy to me uh the drive gauge when it comes to drop parry and whatever the od version and the, the explosions they now increase the, the basically increase the the pros when it comes to parry and the explosives which is good and then they fixed an issue to where the projectile will not disappear until the move class with the opponent's special uh arts which is crazy I don't know why some of these things is on the screen, but yes. They also scaled this right here. It's portal. I don't know how to call the portal, so we're gonna figure out how to call the portal. All right, wow. They scaled the portal right there by 20%, which is actually crazy, and you get more drive gauge when it comes to actually parrying it now. So, now for these other things that nobody really care about, but, they, but we really care about, it's a standing heavy punch. Apparently, a standing heavy punch is now able to, you able to just low forward him, which is crazy, depending on your low forward, which is, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not a JP hater, but you know what I mean? Increase hitbox. I, lo I love it. Also, they fixed his crouching heavy punch or just made it to where now you have to preemptively do it instead of doing it on the hit, which means that Cammy's is going to have a field day with him. I mean, I explained it, but when JP em embrace cannot be performed because one of his projectiles is on screen, pressing back special punch or whatever it is button in modern controls will cause nothing to be performed to offset this jp neutral special button whatever it, it, it basically able to perform the move now which it don't really matter but it's still jp but now his damage is scaled so <laughs> i'm here okay now for his standing light punch that actually got touched for frames two to eight have been increased around his arms i should already know what that is and then his hitbox around i think what is it oh it's 9 and 11 have been decreased so now the whip punish is a little bit better on two to eight frames not you know not to 11 which is very crazy but i like it another thing is that apparently his spinning mixer okay so what's very crazy about his spinning mixer is that now if he was to od off of it it is only punishable after the last active frames so you cannot hit it with any anti-air moves until it's basically over which is like weird this is this is weird this is this is a little bit weird but i i, I don't know how to take this on for his wall jumps they fixed an issue where certain wall jumps will actually you know it won't, it won't put him in a forced knockdown state when you actually hit him so they just fixed it where you know it just puts him in a knockdown state now when you actually hit him at like and why after you get hit by an attack so keep that in mind also they fixed it to where now his level two because sometimes it will linger and nobody will know like that 
it wouldn't even be popping up you know like, Yo, what, what the hell and you don't know it's lingering but now you actually able to see and hear it when it's actually lingering around the stage so it's, it's way more visible than how it was last time so i messed with that change okay now for aki which is the last character standing medium punch have now went from three active frames to five active frames they also increased the attack hitbox for her crouching light punch which is crazy and then for overdrive snake or snake step my four they fixed an issue to where the normal version of the snake step would be performed instead of the overdrive version where inputting you know the inputs while the night whatever the night shade post is on the screen i don't know what that is it's probably like the puddle or whatever but now you're able to actually input the overdrive version instead of the normal one now so they basically fixed that issue and that is pretty much all that happened when it comes to these character balances that came with this ed update make sure y'all leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are new or if you want more information other than that catch you on the next one peace